Rescue Concentrate is an economical solution that has the same high quality and disinfecting power as Rescue Ready to Use formulations. The Concentrate product does require careful dilution to perform properly. It isn't a difficult procedure and it can be accomplished with a simple measuring cup, but it is important that it is diluted to the recommended ratio every time it is mixed for use. Mixing to the dilution ratios specified on the Rescue Concentrate label is a first step to ensure that the pathogen of concern will be killed. For daily use, that ratio is 1 to 64, or 2 ounces of Rescue Concentrate per gallon of water. Over diluting the product, which means adding too little concentrate or too much water, creates a weak solution that may not be appropriate to use as a disinfectant. This could leave your facility at risk to pathogens of concern that may not be killed. Under diluting the product, meaning adding too much concentrate or too little water, creates a solution with too much rescue. An over-concentrated solution can leave a sticky residue on surfaces after they have been disinfected. If higher concentrations are required for disinfection, you can rinse the surface with water and then let it air dry. The best way to ensure that you're mixing a solution to the proper ratio is to use a test strip. Precise test strips are simple to use. Dip the test strip into the solution for one second and hold horizontally for 50 seconds. Match the color on the strip to the color block found on the label to make sure you have the correct dilution. It is not possible to free pour or eyeball a correct dilution ratio. You need to use a mixing station or measuring cup to be confident that you are using the product properly. A mixing station is an automatic dilution system which precisely dilutes the solution for use. These can be purchased from your distributor. You should test the calibration of your mixing station once a month to ensure accurate dilution by using test strips. You can also use a measuring cup to make your diluted solution by pumping the concentrate into the cup until it reaches the proper measurement marker. Then pour the solution into your water. Confirm that your dilution is accurate by using a precise test strip. Let's look at an example of refilling a secondary bottle with a rescue concentrate dilution. The secondary bottle should be rinsed with water and then a small amount of disinfectant and then allow it to air dry before refilling. This cleaning procedure eliminates contaminants in the bottle. Dilute the solution to the desired ratio. In this case, one to 64 or two ounces of rescue concentrate per one gallon of water. Here, we are filling a 32 ounce bottle. Make sure to measure the water, leaving enough space to add the concentrate. Then measure 0.5 ounces of rescue concentrate and pour it in. Record the lot number of rescue concentrate, the dilution ratio, and the date it was mixed on every secondary bottle. Rescue is effective for 90 days after being mixed. After that point, it should be discarded and a new solution needs to be prepared. Do not top up secondary bottles. Each new solution should be placed into a clean, empty secondary bottle labeled with the date that it was created. Test your solution using a test strip to ensure that the ratio is correct. Remember, you cannot achieve the proper dilution ratio by free pouring or eyeballing the solution as you mix them. Always measure both concentrate and water.